Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 Seconds Challenge video. Now, I was going to do a new challenge, one that I've never done before, but I want to go back to one of my favorite challenges that I've done, the Yes to Everything Challenge. It's where, when any situation comes up, no matter how important, no matter how tight this, the situation may be, I have to say yes to everything. And if there are multiple choice, you know, answers, like there's three or four items I could choose from, I'm always going to choose the first one. So let's revisit the yes to everything challenge, and this time we're going to get out. Let's do it. For this challenge, I am not limited to any item or family member. I just need to say yes to everything, and hopefully I can get rescued and get a good ending. I'm just going around the house to see which items I can get or where they all are, just in case I run out of time. All right, let's get my wife, flashlight, and one what's up? Cause you know we're gonna need that wata. Oh, there's my fat ass daughter playing her tuba. What is my son doing drawing on the bathroom floor? You know sometimes there's leftover piss on the floor, right, Timmy? Well, I could expect that from you. You're such a dumbass, man. Ginger haired fuck. I'm just gonna grab everything that I can. Yeah, get that. Get some food so I don't need to scavenge that hard. Oh, I need the map. Yeah, and I need a gun. Okay, there it is. There's the radio. Get it! Golly, lamp! Always cock blocking a man! Get that suitcase. Nope. Okay, axe. Oh shit. Oh, go, 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 go. Come on, I don't have enough time. Okay, one more trip all the way back here. Get the med kit. Yes. And I saw the map on the wall. Fuck, where's the map? Oh, I need the Boy Scout book! The Boy Scout book is the real MVP! Come on! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, get it, get it, get it! Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it, am I? <laughs> I made it! Oh, that was so clutch. My butthole was this tight because I thought I wasn't going to make it. Oh, okay, let the yes challenge begin. I have a good feeling about this. If I made it that close, I have a good feeling about this. Let's see what extra items we found down here. Ammo, and that's it. Okay, the food and water situation applied to every episode I've done. Every five days, I'm going to give them water and food. Nothing's changed. I'm not going to read the notes, so you better, you rat bastards better stop asking me to do that. Uh, it still looks like the area is irradiated. Okay, I'm not going to send anybody outside. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants, and wizards. It would be reassuring to hear one of these stories again. And yet, we don't have a photo of him, just memories. Okay, so no matter what it is, even if it's not a yes or no question, if there is a situation where I have to do something, then yes, I have to do it. So let's click the Boy Scout book. And, you know, the first one of the day is pretty good because we actually get to keep them sane when they see a picture of Uncle Ted or whoever the hell that guy is. We did it! The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages of the Scout Handbook. What a lucky coincidence! It's a bit blurry, but it's still a wonderful surprise. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now we should get him some water. Water's all Dolores wants, and Ted should drink something soon. Two more days, guys. Just hold out! Our ammunition is missing. There's no way it was stolen, so it has to be here somewhere. We need to find it. Yes, get the flashlight. Get the flashlight and find it. I bet you it's those damn rats in the basement, man. They're always scheming, always plying something. Those damn rats. First thing we found was a forgotten deck of cards. Dolores used it for solitaire back in the day, until the kids lost a few of the cards. We can now play semi-solitaire. Yay! Okay, one more day, I'm gonna give them some water and some food, and more random notes. It is now day five. Give them some water and some food so they can stay alive. Oh man, someone give me a record deal. It looks like the area is still irradiated, so I'm not gonna send anybody out. I don't even need to send anybody out. We woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like, like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us is alive in this bunker, it's time to teach it who's the boss around here. Yeah, get that ax and just smack him over the head with it. Whatever it was, it's dead now, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Yeah, like Mary Jane's pussy. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. No news is good news. Nothing with Timmy. Everybody's good. Okay, cool. Contamination's still strong. There's been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? Bet your sweet mama's ass we will. So glad I have so many different items to choose from. And I'm so glad that we don't have like an earthquake or a flood which like destroys any of our items. The airdrop crate wasn't exactly huge but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. Two water, two food, oh, not, not too shabby. It's not that bad, it's not that good, it's not that bad. 
Still strong, not gonna send anybody out, and more random nuts. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. Now, this is the yes challenge. I would have chosen the radio, but damn it, we gotta choose the very first option. It's the gas mask. Nobody wants to save the damn gas mask, but I mean, those are the rules. Rules are rules. Golly, the radio and the flashlight, those are crucial! Damn, man! And I want to say pancake too, and I need to have the flashlight. Fuck me! Fuck me silly! We know very little about what's going on outside. Okay, since I don't have the radio, I don't need to say yes to anything, because I can't even do anything anyway. But, man, I need that flashlight! That's some bullshit, man! Some bullshit! They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Mary Jane keeps fainting, yeah, 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 what else is new? Give you some water and some food to shut your yaps up. It seems awfully quiet outside, maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. We decided to take a peek outside for just a minute to see the store around the corner was still standing. Oh no, it's Pancake! And I gotta choose this! Oh my god, I've never done this before! No, please don't kill Pancake, please don't kill Pancake. Okay, okay, oh god guys, this is not good. I am not happy about this. God, we're s <laughs> PETA! Don't hurt me, guys. Insect killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito, as well as creatures lurking in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. Well, at least it didn't tell us that, you know, there was a dead dog or something. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Despite the dire circumstances and all that trouble we were going through, Timmy is being very brave. Yay! State of the Wasteland remains unknown. We were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed! A plant seed! We should plant it to see what happens, but we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Well, I gotta say yes, so yes, yes! Gonna plant that seed. Hopefully it grows into some yummy quesadillas! Here goes nothing. Soil seeds water. We'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Timmy's on his best behavior, how long will it last? Yeah, 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 we've heard it all before. Seems awfully quiet outside. You know what, I'm gonna send somebody out. Somebody needs to go outside now. Okay, I don't have the radio, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. I think I'm gonna send Timmy. I feel like Timmy always has the best haul when it comes to sending him outside. Like, like over all the runs I've had of this game, I feel like Timmy has done the best. Don't you guys think? So let's send him outside, and where's that suitcase at? Oh, I didn't grab it, did I? Okay, well, I'm not gonna send any uh, supplies with him. There we go. Man, I'm stumbling over my words today, guys, but I'm excited. Like, I really want to get rescued. Look at all the stuff I have. It's so colorful down here in the shelter. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Dolores will not survive without water. Ted's got one foot in the grave. And more random notes. And an ugly drawing. Looked like some titties were above her head. I mean, I don't know if those are like sunglasses that, you know, like when you put them above your head. Those are some big, juicy, B-cut titties. Day 15. This is it. We've officially gone too long without a flashlight. If we don't fix it and play Shadow Bunny soon, someone may snap. And we don't want that. Trust us. We really don't. Okay, I believe you guys. Just calm down. Mary Jane, you look like you're getting too, too wild there. Look at her! She looks like she's getting too wild! Excellent! The flashlight works like a charm. We can actually see where we are going. What, they couldn't see where they were going without the flashlight? It looks like it's bright as shit in the shelter. Ouch! The darn flashlight just blew up. Is anyone hurt? Wait, what? So they fixed the flashlight, but then it blew up? What? That doesn't make any sense. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Okay, everybody's good. I don't get it. It said Ted was hurt. That doesn't make any sense. So we have the flashlight, but it blew up? And now Ted's hurt? What kind of pussy gets hurt from a flashlight? I mean, Ted, that's who. Ted, fuckboy Ted. Without playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted might have some nasty scars if those wounds ever heal. Eh, you know, scars are kind of cool. Plants are usually green, so it shouldn't be too worrying that Mary Jane's plant is a bit glowy. It shines with a healthy greenish color. Maybe that means it will bear more fruit? Or vegetables? Or whatever those twisted things hanging from that plant are? Shall we collect them now? Yes, we have to. Even though, what would I choose? I, would, I think I would probably take the seeds too, to be honest. I wouldn't say no to that. 
I mean, they could turn Mary Jane into a super, super, super mutant. Good call with the plant. We were able to procure four cans worth of food from it. The glow seems to give it extra nutritional value. Plus four cans of food. Yeah, boy, boy. I like that a lot. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. That's not good at all. We need to act now and no one pack the mob. What do we do? Why don't we use Mary Jane and just use her and just sweep up all that green goo? I mean, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't mind. She'd probably eat that shit anyway. Yay, Timmy's back. What did you bring, Timmy? Timmy, what did you bring me? Three waters. One radio. Yes! Fuck yeah, Timmy! Oh yeah, come here, Timmy. Let me give you a kiss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. You taste so good, Timmy. Thank you, Timmy, for the radio. I love you so much. One more step to getting rescued. Okay, we don't need to go out anymore. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. Yeah, let's get in contact with the government. I like being rescued by the twins, as a matter of fact. I'd rather have that. It's, it's more fun to be rescued by the twins than the military. It's kind of cliche to be rescued by the military anyway. So let's give them some water and some food. Man, I have a lot of stuff. And we got scared a little bit today when all of a sudden our map just fell off the wall. Maybe our shelter is haunted. Oh, pussies. When the map fell down, it revealed some sort of safe behind it. We don't remember installing it, but we can probably crack it. Well, we technically have all the time in the world to do it. Should we try? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's in that safe. Usually, it's like one can of food. It's like really anticlimactic and it sucks. But hopefully... Oh, one can of food! I knew it! I knew it, you son of a dick! Golly, one can of food in a safe. Who puts one can of food in a safe? A douchebag, that's who. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand on a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. Okay, we're gonna use the axe. Don't axe anymore, because we got an axe, Timmy. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems to be much better. Ouch. The axe slipped a bit, but that must have hurt. Okay. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they got lost and that would be most grateful if we could let them check our map, provided we have one. Well, whoop de freaking do We have some, you medieval bastards! I forgot what they give you. I think they gave me, like, a med kit one time. One time, come on, give me a med kit one time for the homie DJ. What? Board game checkers? <laughs> That's bull, man. Come on, dude. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the waste. And right now, she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind. What are you gonna do with that spider, lady? Put it on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she'll return the favor another day. Well, you can't argue with that. You can't argue with crazy ladies trying to fight mutant spiders. I mean, come on. I mean, well, what can you say about that? I have nothing to say, see? So what can you say about that? We agreed, mostly because we're kind of curious what she's planning to do with that spider once she catches it. She doesn't want to say. Maybe one day we'll find out. And I have one more day till I give them water and food, so we'll be fine right now. And more random notes. Man, Mary Jane looks like crap. Jeez, wonder how much her ass stinks. Must be pretty bad down there. Like, woo, that sea's having a bad time. Okay, water and food. Not gonna send anybody out. Wait, am I running out of water? Uh, two and a third? Eee. Ooh, la, 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 I don't know. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. When we tried other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are all the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range? Well, I know that when you tinker with it, you're gonna mess it up. So, uh, yeah, you guys hear that? Yeah, it messed up. And now Ted's sick. Thanks, Ted. You're an asshole. Radio's gone. Great. But, but, I have a med kit. Yes. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. You know what? I'm going to send Mary Jane. Just cause, man. Just for shits and giggles. She looks like absolute shite. Not shit. Shite. You got to say it in the British way. Is that how British people say shit? Shite? Well, either way. Whoever says shite, she looks like it. Real bad. Okay, Mary Jane, you're going outside. 
Okay, everybody rub their fingers together because Mary Jane, we need all the luck we can get. 28 days in. I'm excited, like I'm focused now, I'm into it. Mary Jane went outside, let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy should eat something. Yeah, go eat a dick, Timmy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't mean to do that, my fat finger slipped. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food. We win, we get his two cans. We lose. We loose? They misspelled lose. It says loose. We loose. We give him our two cans. Are we going to do it? Ah, well, it's not like we have a choice, buddy. We gotta say yes to everything. If the guy put a gun to our face, we would say yes, pull the trigger. Ah, oh, we won. Yes, two cans of food. I wish it was water. And more random notes. People, you guys might be wondering, and you guys tell me in the comments, read the notes! Nobody wants to read the notes. They're not even that interesting. I'm pretty sure if I did read them, you guys would be like, oh my god, why are you reading the notes? It's so stupid, Jay. Get them water and food. I almost forgot while I was imitating some of you guys' voices. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on our door. But when we opened it, we found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Props to you if you guys know what movie that's from. What'd you bring back? Uh, Four cans of food, one water, one suitcase. Okay, we are running out of Wata, Mary Jane, and we need some of that real bad. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? Uh, Ted. I don't know why. His comb over just, just looks like, it, you know, he'll survive this. And plus he's sick anyway. Oh God, he looks like death. He looks like hot death. We answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gas of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging info when the call was cut short. Okay. Awfully quiet outside. I'm gonna send out Ted. I'm gonna send him out. Hopefully he can go out. He looks really bad. As the Japanese would say, he looks really, really bad. That's how the Japanese say, that's what they tell me. There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? Yeah, it was. Um, okay, Ted, you're gonna go out. You are gonna bring the suitcase. And you are going to bring the... Nothing else. Just gonna bring a suitcase. I don't know, maybe you might bring back more stuff. Day 34. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse. It is worse. They're spiders! Not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, and very creepy beasts! We've gotta do something about them! Yes, the very first option, which is the bug spray. Spiders, bug spray. It's a match made in heaven, guys. Ah, but isn't that the one that turns Mary Jane into a beast? Damn. Okay, gotta feed them and give them water. Look how much food I have, guys. That is ridiculous. I can feed a whole village. More random notes. Oh, man. Well, I have time. Do you guys like my mustache? It's No Shave November. A lot of you guys are shitting on my mustache. And for good reason. It is a pretty weird-looking mustache, but... Man, you know, it's my mustache, and I gotta love it, just like it's my own baby. But once November ends, shaving this bad boy, and Ted's back. What did he bring? Did you bring back Teddy? Two water, and he didn't bring back the suitcase. What happened to it? Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Oh, there's no reason. He's just like, fuck you, suitcase, I'm leaving you behind. At least we got two water. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna give him some, just because I'm gonna reward a doggy for doing good. Seems awfully quiet outside. Dolores is confident she will survive. No, 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 no. Ted looks like hot death. A group of doctors knocked on our door today, requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling the first aid kits. We didn't doubt they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats and everything. Shall we help them? Yeah, why not? I mean, they're doctors, right? They better give us a med kit so we can heal Ted. No. What happened to Timmy? What happened to him? We couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we are lousy parents and that he will be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland. What? That doesn't even make any sense. And I don't even believe him. Warlord of the wasteland? He's too much of a fuckboy to be a warlord of anything. He could be a warlord of my asshole. Damn, man. That's some bull. Say the wasteland remains unknown to us. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge? Oh, hell yeah. 
The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans and that unmentionable buck is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strange glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Um, okay, since I can't choose the first option, then I gotta choose whatever option I can. So, it's the Boy Scout book. Man, that's bullshit. Timmy didn't even look that bad, to be honest. He looked like he was just chilling. I didn't even know his wounds were that severe. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, Harry had eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully, we won't have to deal with him again. Yes, you're right. Okay, feed them one more time, and I'm gonna send out Mary Jane because she is ready to go outside. Mary Jane, come on down! Whew, good luck, Mary Jane. It's 40 days in, and it doesn't even look like we're gonna get rescued. Like, anywhere close to being rescued. Mary Jane went outside. Dolores will not survive without water. Ted is hungry. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you guys all that you need, I promise. We've been busy since we got to the show. Oh, this is a note? Oh, I'm not reading that. <laughs> yeah, tricked you guys. You guys thought I was gonna read a note. <laughs> April Fools. In November, April Fools. Come on. Gotta do something. I gotta get rescued. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind the door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address or name on it, but we were pretty sure it was meant for us. Should we open it? Yes. Come on. Give me something good. Ooh. Ooh, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough, guys. One can of soup. Damn. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's wrong? Yeah, why not? Why not? She probably hates Ted, man. It's probably like a troubled marriage from the get-go. Yes, Mary Jane's back. Hello, Mary Jane. How are you? Nothing. Oh, you got two waters and a radio. Wait, didn't we already have a radio? I guess we didn't have a radio anymore. Eh, whatever. Um, awfully quiet outside. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location in the area and then leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. Yes, I use the map to find out where that is and we're good to go. Okay, I'm, I have a good feeling about this. I had a good feeling as soon as we made that clutch moment where we jumped in the shelter with like less than like point three seconds to go. That was awesome. Quick glance at the map gave us all the info we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Okay, I'm excited. We're gonna get rescued, guys. Just believe, you gotta believe. Do you guys believe me? Do you guys look into these eyes? Do you guys see this mustache? Do you guys believe in me? Because I believe that we can do this. Just trust. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Mary Jane's hungry, everything's okay with Dolores. And Ted's calm. Okay, give them some water and some food. Ooh, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm excited. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and who had probably never heard of a trumpet player in his life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. Should we let them in? Well, I gotta say yes. So there's only one way to find out. Even though I have a bunch of stuff in this shelter, this is gonna be ridiculous if they rob me. Okay, they didn't do anything. Ah, oh, they took the flashlight and the cards, really? They weren't married at all. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I wish I still had my axe so I could reverse the handle and put it all up in your ass. Damn you. We got a visit today from a person with a physical mutation. He managed to grow several extra fully operational hands. He shared the story of his group with us, people with other deformities who despite the circumstances remained friendly and struggled to gather supplies. Wherever they go, people just shoo them away with the fear of getting sick. He promises that if we give him some supplies, his group will help us get rid of the bandits next time they bother us. Well, that is a great trade. I'll give them one water and they help me whoop some raiders ass. Come on, what, what, what more could you ask for? That is the perfect trade. If you guys don't do that, there's something wrong right here, guys. Okay, we minus one water and they're gonna help us next time. Awesome. More random notes. Fuck! Ted's dead, damn it. Damn you, Ted. Why'd you, why'd you have to do it? Ugh! God, it's up to the ladies. On our way back from the last expedition, we noticed some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby. It was a very crude map of our town and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup? Damn, that is a tongue twister. Shall we go and check? Well, we gotta send somebody. Fucking Ted, man. I can't believe he died. That is ridiculous. Oh, now she's sick. This is not good. Found a suitcase, really? That's what we went out there to get, a suitcase? Now I'm starting to get pissed off. Oh my goodness. 
Mary Jane used to be cheerful, but lately she is feeling a bit down. She clearly misses her music lessons. She keeps humming her favorite classical pieces, imitating the sound of a tuba. Yes, go get the tuba, girl. Tuba! I like I like saying tuba. Just say it out loud. Tuba. It's a great word. Tuba. Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for her tuba. She said if we can't find the instrument, she'll set it for anything she could find, like some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Now that is messed up. Come on now. Oh man, whoa, 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 whoa. I found all this stuff though, wait. What did I find? How did I find this? A food drop, that's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate? No. Okay, so the military dropped some supplies. Two food, two water, and a med kit. Yes. Thank you. Just what I needed. Okay, now my hopes are restored that we're gonna get out of here. More random notes. Yes. Okay. I'm ready, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling real, real good. Now Dolores isn't sick. Mary Jane and her, they can get out of here. Okay. Ooh. No. We could really use some more supplies. We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from the local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe. And we could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? We're gonna kill some kids and some teachers? That is so cutless. But I like it. I like it a lot. I don't care. Yeah, get those blood marks on the walls. We'll kill anybody for some food. We killed them for four waters. Savages! We live that sav life! Not going outside, not anymore. Our supplies are scarce and our morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks from the retirement home. It shouldn't be hard to borrow some of the supplies. They're old anyway and we need them more, right? Damn, first kids and some teachers, now some old people? God, these girls are ruthless, man! Look at their faces! Ever since Timmy left and Ted died, they're like, you know, fuck this. We going ham on these people. That's crazy. For a deck of cards, too. Rest in peace, old people. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm not gonna give you that. We received another army transmission this morning. Well, too bad, I don't have an axe, so I'm not even gonna read that. Mary Jane's crazy, too. She's been crazy from the get-go. I hate it when they go crazy. It doesn't make any sense. This whole crazy thing is so sensitive because they can't do anything. Oh, God, that pisses me off. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. All right, so we got to go with the first option, which is the gas mask. Ah, oh, why couldn't it have been the deck of cards or the checkerboard? Doesn't make any sense, man. Whew, this yes challenge is really, uh, really starting to take a toll on me. I'm starting to get pissed. Mutant rodents are attacking our supplies. Well, I can't do anything. Sorry, we don't have any weapons. Why don't you just use your bare hands? What did they use to kill the teachers, kids, and the old people anyway? Use that to kill the roaches, man. Use a slipper. That's the Asian way. The beast of a rodent won. It won and stole our food. And it only took one can of food. It's not that bad. Pretty sure Mary Jane had her birthday two weeks ago, but it turns out it's today. Shall we get her something a young lady trapped in a tiny shelter would enjoy? Yeah, a deck of cards. Deck of cards! God, if I ever got a deck of cards for my birthday, I'd be so sad. Like, the saddest boy in the world. Mary Jane loves cards. Oh yeah, cool, she loves cards. She probably ate them. Two more days and I'll give them some water and some food. Golly, can someone rescue me? It's almost 60 days in. That's almost two full months. Okay, give them some what Some food! And the wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of the door, knocking and claiming that he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammo. Shall we trade? Yes, give him the checkerboard. Maybe he'll give us something good. Maybe he'll give us two tickets to our way out of here. You guys hear that laughing? That was kind of creepy. Oh, okay. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammo is. We pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checkerboard. Asshole. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. More random notes. Okay, so my expectations of us getting out were very high. Now it's starting to go down. You know, like a free fall or like when it goes down a slope on a roller coaster. That's what I'm doing right now, guys. That's what my hope is at right now. Please save us. We always steered away from casinos. Okay, a guy wants to gamble for some food or water. We are going to do it because we have no choice. This is the yes challenge after all, even though 
I feel like we're getting fucked really hard in the ass right now. Two waters? Okay, never mind. We're doing the ass fucking. Received another army transmission this morning. Ugh. God, I don't have an axe. What am I gonna do? Should I send somebody out? I feel like I'm not gonna get rescued unless I get that axe. You know what? I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prepare. And yeah. So I'm gonna send somebody out. It's gonna probably be a last resort. Hopefully we can get somebody out and uh, get an axe. If we can't get an axe, then we're probably donezo. Because the fact that I killed the teachers, students, and the old people, I don't think I'm gonna get rescued by anybody else. Send Mary Jane outside, and I'm gonna give you the suitcase. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Please, for daddy, stay 66. Oh man, this is the longest I've been in a long time. Like, the most amount. Oh, no, 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 no. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of that door, demanding we walk out with hands in the air, or they will get in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? Well, we don't have any choice. I guess we gotta put our hands in the air. Oh, wait, 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 those guys are gonna help us. Yes, yeah, those guys we gave water to, right? When we opened the door, we saw a group of heavily armed raiders. We thought we were as good as dead. Thankfully, our mutated friends kept their word. Yeah! All their extra arms proved very useful in scaring the bandits away. Yeah! We thanked them for their help and waved them goodbye. They waved back with all of their limbs. That was plenty of waving. We hope everything works out for them. Cool! Yes, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you for all those people with all those arms and legs. Day 69. The commotion coming from outside could only mean one thing. Bandits. Mary Jane probably walk right into them. We need to face the possibility that she's not coming back. Well, great. I li look at that. I have a lot of water and food, so I think I'll be all right. I'm going to feed her. She's probably going to go crazy. And bandits are at the door again. What the freaking do, man? It's only been one day since they came to the door. They're going to come here again? Where are my mutated friends at? That is ridiculous. No. Oh. Curiosity killed the cat, they say. All those expeditions we sent out to lead a band of renegades to us. We had to yield, and our fate remains uncertain. We're not optimistic. The only law now is the law of the wasteland, and we're not going to benefit from that. We spent 70 days in our shelter. Oh my goodness. So, we got the mutants to go, you know, put them in check, and they, they went away. And then the next day they came back again. That doesn't make any sense. I, I am a little bit salty, guys. I am a little bit salty. That's my seasoning for today because I am a little bit salty that the damn bandits went, came at us back to back. But if you guys want to see any more challenges from 60 seconds, leave it in the comments below and I'll choose the one that I like the most. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!